Okay, we have a segment, Rounding Decimals, and this turns out to be one of the most important lessons because you will do this on almost every lesson from here clear through the end, and uh, even on the most complicated problem, if you were to round incorrectly, Alex would count the entire thing wrong. So being able to round is an important skill for sure. Notice here that we want to round this number to the nearest hundredth. And so let's take a look at that, copy that problem down, and let's talk about how we do that. First of all, if we want to round this to the nearest hundredth, the first thing we'll do is look at the decimal point and find hundredths place. And remember, hundredths, back in our first uh, lesson on place value, is the second digit to the right of the decimal. Put a circle on that. Now let's look at the next digit, one digit to the right of our circle, and let's put an arrow there. If the arrow is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, what we will do is add 1 to the circle digit. So what that's going to do then is to cause this digit to be a 7, and we'll recopy everything else that we will have 12 then point to 7 or 12 and 27 hundredths. Now on the other hand, for example, had this next digit been a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4, let's just say what if this was 12.263. Well, again, we would circle the hundredths digit, but since this digit is too small, we will not round up. We'll just basically drop everything after the circle digit, and we will simply write the answer this way. Let's go back to Alex and see what else they have for us. And uh, in our first case, once again here, we said our answer was 12.27. Let's go ahead and put that in and check it, and then let's do another one. Let's do another one of those. Okay, we have a 0 0.41 to the nearest tenth. So let's write down 0 0.41, and then let's uh, notice here that they want that to the nearest tenth. Well, at 0 0.41, the nearest tenth would be this digit, because this digit is one to the right, it is in tenths place. We'll put the arrow always on the digit to the right of the circle, and notice that in this case it is a one. That is a, like the last example we did, not enough to increase this, so we simply cut the digit, or cut the decimal off at the circle, and we'll have 0 0.4. So we'll round this, we'll say we just leave this at 0 0.4. Let's go back and enter that in Alex check it and see what we have. Okay, and we see that's right. Sometimes, I don't know that Alex will give us an example of this one, but what if we were to have uh, a situation like um, this example? I'll just make one up here for you and uh, take a look at this one. Let's suppose that we have the uh, number 12.9997 and we want to go to the nearest thousandth. The nearest thousandth. So we go over here, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and we circle this digit. Okay. As always, we look one digit to the right, and we notice that that's a 7, which is going to cause us to round up, which means that we're going to add 1 to the thousands place digit. But notice what happens. When you add 9 and 1, you're going to get 10, which is going to cause the next digit to roll over. So you're going to carry the 1. 9 and 1 is 10, which is going to roll it again. 9 and 1 is 10. Carry the 1, and now 2 and 1 is 3. So we are going to have the number 13.000 at the third decimal place. And since they want three decimal places, we should in fact write down those three zeros. I don't know if you'll see that come up immediately, but uh, this is one that often causes people problems. These are rounding decimals in Alex statistics.